So we're going to look at this rewriting a log in the form of a sum right here. So before we look at the rules, what we're going to do is just check out the order of operations. I can insert extra parentheses and not change the meaning of what's happening here. So what we have is a product and we have powers. So if you're not sure where the uh, all the properties are, what we're going to do is look in the textbook. So we're going to go, this comes from 6.2, so we're going to go right into 6.2. And all we're really going to do is read these gray boxes here. So we don't have this theorem going on. Uh, we don't need any of this. Uh, these are applicable for exponential functions here, but not for logs. So right down here is where we see the log properties we need. So let's go ahead and look at them a little more closely. We have a product property happening here. So when we multiply inside a log, we add outside the log. If we divide inside the log, which this problem does not have, we subtract outside the log. And lastly, if we have a power inside the log, that power can be brought out front as a coefficient. So let's go ahead and rewrite the first and the last property. So I just had them copied and pasted right here, but I want to write them out. Every time you write something out, you're going to remember it a little bit better. So we got log, we usually use the letter A for a base. In this case, our base is going to be three. So those use the letters U and W. So this is a product inside. That's log base three of U plus I don't know why I'm writing a three, log base A, your base better match, log base AW. So product inside is a sum outside. The second property we have is U to the W power. Now you want to make sure you're writing very carefully. You want to, your product to not look like your power. So make sure that your exponent doesn't get lazy and start falling down because it will look like it's a product. So what happens here is this W, the power goes in front. So this is W log base A of U. All right, these are the two properties we're going to use. So I'm going to rewrite our original question, which says log base 3 of X to the 15th. And I'm using these extra parentheses here. All right, we have a third power on the Y. Uh, it's a third root, but that means a third power. So I'll write it as one third like this. Okay, so first up, we have to look at what is the algebra form here? What's happening? We have something times something else. We're not gonna go inside the parentheses yet. We're just gonna look at this product happening here. So now we're gonna use the first rule up top. So we have a product inside is a sum outside. And we have y to the 17th to the 1 third. All right, so we turn the product inside into a sum outside. Now we can apply that second rule, which is now at the top of the screen, and I could bring the power out front. So we have 15 log 3 of x. And let's look back at our question. They're trying to get us to write it in this form here. And so you can already tell that a is 15. We're going to look at the second part now. It's a little bit more complicated because there's two powers going on. And we're supposed to just have log 3 of y with no powers in there. So let's go ahead and look at this. We could use order of operations. This is the innermost thing happening. So this one third power we're gonna bring in front. So we got one third log three of y to the 17th power. And we're gonna do the same thing with the 17, bring it out front. So we have 15 log three x plus, now we have one third times 17 log three of y, and of course, one third times 17, there's no reduction at all, because 17 is prime, so is three, so we can't reduce. 
So I can already see B is 17 thirds and A is 15. If you only have one thing inside the uh, log, one input, you don't need parentheses there. So you're gonna frequently see people not use parentheses. All right, if you were paying attention, you should have realized that there was something else I could have done up here instead. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So this will be an alternative solution. Uh, I could have written it, let's see, I'll rewrite the first one as 15 log three of x plus, what do you do when you have a power of a power? That means you have a product. So this is log three of y if we multiply 17 and a third, we have 17 thirds. And what happens on the next step, your 17 thirds comes out in front and you're gonna get exactly what we have on the bottom here. So you don't have to go in the order I presented. In blue, you could use the properties of exponents, combine those, and then pull that exponent out in one step. It's up to you.